Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best Hisense TVs. Starting at number 5. Sony XR75X95K. The Sony XR75X95K is a fantastic example of a mini LED TV that trades blows with even the best panel types around. Superb brightness and excellent detail help earn this high-spec screen a place on this list, and it's an excellent addition to the TV Maker's 2023 portfolio. 5X95K is Sony's first-ever TV to deploy mini-LED technology a system where using much smaller LED backlights allows far more of them to be squeezed into the TV's 75-inch screen, delivering potentially more brightness and, even more importantly, finer light controls. Controls are backed up by an impressive 600 separately controllable dimming zones. The cutting-edge screen technology is backed up by support for 4K 120Hz gaming, VRR and Dolby Vision HDR, though the two gaming-specific features here only work across two HDMIs, not all four. Design, the XR75X95K is a bit beastly. As its sides and back are chunkier than you'd think given it's a mini LED set. It's notably heavier to lift than modern OLED alternatives too, but that's not necessarily a bad thing given that it helps it feel steadier build quality-wise, just don't try to set it up on your own, as its weight will catch you off guard. Coming at number 4. Samsung S95B. The Samsung S95B is a gaming TV that packs a QD OLED punch, but it's also one of the most eye-catching screens you can buy. The display is pretty much a testament to the tech giant's abilities as a TV manufacturer, and there's not much else you could ask for in a premium panel. Samsung S95B's QD OLED panel combines characteristic OLED black levels with the high peak brightness and the expanded color volume of Quantum Dot technology, making it a brilliant choice if you prefer to use your TV in a room with high levels of ambient light. Just like other premium displays, the S95B supports 4K 120Hz, and it's included across all four of its HDMI inputs alongside VRR, variable refresh rate. PC gamers will also be able to take advantage of NVIDIA G-Sync and AMD FreeSync, with ALLM, Auto Low Latency Mode, helping to keep everything snappy regardless of your platform. Design, Samsung refers to the S95B as laser slim, and that doesn't really feel like an exaggeration. In fact, we were a little nervous handling it while testing, as it felt a bit fragile due to its wafer-thin body. Thankfully, its metal back provides rigidity without adding bulk, which preserves the whole minimalist aesthetic the S95B is going for. Performance, simply put, the Samsung S95B's image quality is spectacular. The level of detail is excellent, and its HDR performance is remarkable. We're talking HDR brightness over 1,400 nits, which isn't going to happen with a standard OLED setup. Sadly, there's no Dolby Vision support present, but you do get HLG, HDR10, and HDR10 Plus compatibility. It's not just peak HDR brightness which glows, as the set's average picture level is high and this makes it easy to view in bright rooms. This can cause fatigue, especially if you're not used to this sort of screen, and even the game mode looks overwrought. On the plus side, input lag is low in game mode, we measured it at 9.6 milliseconds, not to mention its 4K 120 frames per second abilities are buttery smooth. At number 3. Hisense A6G. The Hisense A6G is an impressive gaming TV with a fabulous price tag, and for under $500, you'll get an exceptional screen that excels at the basics. Sure, it's not going to wow you with its 60Hz refresh rate, nor does it stand a chance against OLED and QLED titans dominating the scene right now. However, if you merely want a functional TV that both looks the part and comes in big sizes, this is it. N, we're paddling in budget waters here, so it's only natural that the Hisense A6G opts for 4K 60Hz over a faster 120Hz refresh rate. Yet, this UHD screen isn't completely devoid of nice-to-have extras, as it supports both ALLM, Auto Low Latency Mode, and VRR, Variable Refresh Rate, which are handy if you've got a PS5 or Xbox Series X. 
All the usual port suspects are located at the size, including 3 HDMI, Ethernet, optical out, and USB 3.0. Of course, it's also got Wi-Fi connectivity if you fancy using this smart TV as, well, a smart TV, and Hisense's Vita platform will provide you with access to whatever streaming service you're paying for at the moment. The US iteration has Android TV with Chromecast built-in, but since we're in the UK, we can't comment on how it compares to the company's in-house solution. Number 2 of my list LG OLED C3 The LG OLED C3 and its brand new C4 successor are pretty similar, so we think the 2023 is ultimately the model worth buying. Don't get us wrong, it's still pretty expensive, but there's a massive gap between both the 2024 screen and G-series panels like the G3 and G4. CHLG OLED C3 we tested is the smallest of the bunch, and is aimed at movie fans looking for a bijou tele box and gaming enthusiasts looking for a large desktop TV display. The 42-inch C3 offers various picture presets, with cinema and cinema home modes delivering a more theatrical performance and enhanced color saturation. Motion handling is excellent, with effective options to reduce judder without sacrificing image quality. Powered by the latest Alpha 9 Gen 6 processor, this screen maintains a high level of AI sound and vision management, but it lacks the brightness-boosting algorithms found in larger models. Still, it delivers impressive picture quality with superb fine detail, punchy contrast built from inky blacks, and vibrant colors. Design the C3 is without a doubt one of the best-looking gaming TVs around. Its minimal border and dark metal finish provide a slick aesthetic that feels genuinely premium, and G3's lower-spec sibling even comes with a stand. The 42-inch model trades out a pedestal for two widely spaced feet, which may or may not appeal to you depending on the size of your TV bench or desk. Performance The set's HDR performance is solid, although it lacks support for HDR10+, the preferred HDR standard of Prime Video. On the sound front, the TV's downward firing speakers are functional but may benefit from a soundbar upgrade. And number 1. LG OLED G3. The new G4 might have landed, but the mighty LG OLED G3 still holds our top stop for now. Armed with Micro Lens Array, MLA, Tech, this premium panel is going to make your PS5 and Xbox Series X games look magnificent in 4K, and it'll make short work of anything else you plug in via HDMI or stream using a subscription service. Med with a 4K 120Hz OLED panel, HDR10, and Dolby Vision, the LG OLED G3 is a flagship heavy hitter. It's going to help you unleash the full potential of your PS5 and Xbox Series X, but it also comes with support for both FreeSync Premium and NVIDIA G-Sync VRR. That means it'll also fill in as a gaming monitor if you've got decent graphics card within your PC, particularly one that can hit 120 frames per second with a UHD resolution enabled. Design, G3 sizes range from the 55-inch OLED 55G3 to the massive 83-inch OLED 83G3. Not only are these panels massive, but you'll also have to wall mount these new LG TVs. That's right, there's no traditional stand in the box, which is a bit of a bummer for those of you who prefer freestanding TVs, naturally, you'll also have to budget for a bracket too, adding extra expensive to the end setup. Once you've got the G3 on the wall, however, you'll arguably be able to appreciate this bezel-less beauty in all its glory. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.